actually seen him uh, on stream today. On stream yeah. today. He lost the beast, actually. Yeah, and he had a pretty competitive set, too. So, you know, definitely no slouch. Yeah. All right, so starting off game one on Battlefield, this is going to help both players because Zelda wants a roof above her head, and Pikachu wants the freedom and movement, plus the fact that because he's so light, uh, the bigger Blast Zones... Actually, they're both pretty light, so the bigger Blast Zones is going to help them uh, uniformly live longer. Uh, Zelda definitely uh, hits harder, so this is a little bit more helpful for Pikachu. But uh, yeah. still, you know, like I said, she wants a roof above her head. She wants to be able to summon the knight with uh, some care, uh, some safety, some some concern, some caution. So I like that. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, Pikachu's hard to catch anyway. So, uh, you know, if you have to double down and say, like, okay, he's going to be a little bit hard to catch, but you can at least, like, be safer with your own approaches, it's w it's a it's a definitely a worthy trade. Oh, my goodness. That two frames. Is All right, where are we going? All right, yeah, so yeah. Mouse Rat losing his first stock. And, uh, yeah, Sardo with a fairly solid lead. And, yeah, see, getting hit by that dash attack, not dying yet. I'm not sure if he would have died on a normal stage, but uh, even still, like, he's that he's much alive. farther. Uh, still going. Yeah. Uh, Zelda's up these super far range, and she had her jump, so even though she air dodged, which would have been a death sentence. Ooh, uh, I just, not for her. Wasn't sure. Why didn't he do up, up throw? Would up throw still not kill because it's Battlefield, maybe? It might not, but I'm pretty sure the next wrap definitely right. will. But dash attack. Dash attack at 160. Super strong hat. Yep. Yeah. Point of no return. Understandable. Oh. This is a big thing that Zara does me doing a lot in the matchup is pulling out the knight and trying to time it so that whenever uh, Mousetrack quick attacks, he's going to hit him. And you can see right there, like, it ended up planking, but he timed it specifically for that. That lead is starting to evaporate. Sarado is willing to play a little bit aggressively. Very good. And Sapphire not quite doing it. You have to remember, Zelda's uh, F Smash is safe on shield against the majority of the cast. There's very few characters that can actually actively punish her when she does it. Oh, and it's a super risky re-grab, but Mousetrap giving him an out. Interesting. And now both players are trying to figure out exactly how they're going to approach the kill. Uh, Zelda does technically have an easier time killing, but mm -hmm. this is a tiny and very agile character, so it's just going to be... It's really a matter of like who can place the kill, the, the hit kill first. Yeah, like I said, like I think in this situation where their stocks are really even and they're both like close to death, uh, Zelda does have a bit of an advantage here just because that she hits harder. Uh, like Pikachu, uh, while evasive, is still gonna kind of struggle to like get that kill. Like his main strength is the fact, well, that dash attack, you know. And, oh god, that dash attack. Why? Yeah. Is Ooh, Pikachu. all right. Yeah, if you shield against Pikachu, he has to guess what you're going to do, uh, how you're going to DI to secure a kill on a throw. But if uh, you give him a dash attack or give him an S smash, he's going to clue you absurdly early. Yeah, Sarado tried to push a little bit too hard, and uh, Mousetrap just went for that uh, stutter step F smash and uh, you know was able to take the stock. But Sarado uh, didn't, let him, didn't allow him to build too much percent and able to even up the stocks. Yeah, that fair trade, man. It's not unfair that you want to trade with any with any character. You get hit by both the thunder and the thunder too. Interesting. Oh, good shield pressure from uh, from Sarado, but not quite able to convert it into anything without getting thrown off the stage. Ooh, interesting little custom combos. We in the workshop, we do things out of the ordinary. We're not about the status quo. All right, uh, I'll start beginning to the like, pull away with a you know uh, semi decent lead here. Andre Nate, he can start now looking for landing those stronger hits that uh, can secure him a stock. Uh, this is not the situation you want to be in versus Pikachu. This is the thing that Mouse has been paying attention a lot more Ooh, to lately is the position the of Zelda. Relative to the night, jeez, man. Good lord. A really important aspect of the matchup is where the knight is relative to Zelda, because the knight can play interference. 
Yeah, he's Zelda, a wall. Particularly for Thunder Jolt. Yeah, he literally has a wall. Yeah, well, actually, you, just, you, you really showed yep. me that. It literally pushed him. Oh, right. You didn't know box. that. <laughs> yeah, he's a wall. <laughs> it's crazy. A literal goddamn wall. His feet are on the ground. He'll just push you away. And most of Sourdough's deaths came from over uh, over committing to some kind of like option because he read uh, yes. not treading correctly. Yeah, that's definitely right. Uh, I think like it's unfortunate because like sometimes you don't want to hang back. He just needs to hang back a little bit more, or at least in certain situations. Uh, and I think it'll like really help clean up his play. You know, like he needs to assert more pressure uh, and just like keeping center instead of like going uh, further in on her. So, you know, uh, when those times happen, like, he'll be in a better situation either to, uh, you know, be sent across the stage to really maximize air time before, like, hitting the potential blast zone. And so there's more uh, potential to surviving. I've been seeing Smashville a lot more than I'm used to. Yeah, so Smashville is definitely a, a really good stage for Zelda because the knight uh, basically covers the whole thing. And he covers the big platform in the bottom. And like we said earlier, you know, Zelda likes having a roof above her. So that when she's doing those charge-ups and stuff, uh, you can't come down with an attack. Uh, like, you have to commit. You have to hard read. You have to commit to, like, holding down so you pass through the platform. Which then doesn't give you enough time for your stronger moves uh, that you may have in the air. And it's just oh. a little bit, uh, you know, it, it's, it's better for her. Yeah, Stardo keeps trying to punish the Thunder, but that's not really a move that's that easy to punish. Yeah, he's going well, at least for the not Reflect. Without a huge hitbox. He's going for the Reflect to try and just punish the Lightning Bolt coming down. Which, is, you know, I, I guess is worth it. But Mouser are going to take that first stock now, only taking 22 damage. Uh, I think, surprisingly, this might have been a bit of a double-edged sword because that platform, uh, as big as it is relative to the size of the stage, actually might make Mouserat harder to catch see that. I mean, it definitely, uh, Battlefield's one of the best things in Office Pikachu is the ability to camp on one of the platforms because he's not limited in his projectile usage by being on one of the platforms. Uh, he kind of loses that on this stage, but if you can't hit him on this stage, I don't know, man. You gotta, you gotta really rethink, like, how you're approaching this matchup. You gotta hit the guy in the game. The little rat. The mouse rat. Alright, so mouse rat actually, uh, Doing a pretty good job here, just, you know, he's getting these pot shots in, he's not really, like, over committing to get, he's just taking whatever damage he can get, and, uh, and it's working out, because he's really just minimizing damage he's taking to just really solidify this stock lead, and now he's lapped him. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, Malzorad has a very passive play, like, he... Like, Pikachu allows you to, like, harass your opponent, but, like, you have to remember, that sort of harassment still is passive play. And, like, he's just gonna... He's just like, bro, I'm putting this out here. Uh, if you get hit by it, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> also, welcome to the mic, uh, Dramgar. Aloha. Hey, Dara. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so I'm joining in so late. Um, I see Mousepad is doing what he does best. Ooh! Um, you know, with oh. the passive play. Yeah, definitely. Trying to get the that second thunder, oh! not going to be enough. Her uppy, uh, she literally has uh, Ivy Star up there on her fingertips. Yeah, it's a huge explosion. All right, right. but unfortunately, even though he was able to uh, equal out the stocks uh, at what cost, percentages were too high. Mouse Rat took that stock right on back, and now we have a full stock lead once again. Yeah, and Lady Mouse Rat, he just seems to be piling on the damage. He's just making this lead so much better. 60% from two strings. Yeah. Yes, man. You. Okay. He just has like a lot of custom combos. It's kind of hits you. I'm seeing and him like go random down bees out of like some of his upper links. And like some of those are connecting. So, you know, all pa all the power to him. Yeah. The Phantom is extremely threatening, but not only when she can actually start charging and getting it out. Now that's not really giving Sourdough a good chance to get set up without it being mm -hmm. a point where he's not going to be able to actually get a punch for doing it. Mm -hmm. Like Mouse Cut, he's stalling a little bit off stage just so he'd have waiting out the Phantom. Typically oh that Smash is just going to kill him setting stage. Yeah, I feel like Smashville might have like worked maybe not so much in Sapolito's favor. I didn't get to see much of the match, but like 
it just seemed like Salido could not get Mouse to like off of him, right? Um, could not like run away, set up Phantom, could not create any space for himself. Um, and yeah, Mouse Rat's punish game was just, you know, immaculate. You know, the way Mouse Rat's been approaching the matchup is pretty smart overall. Like, he realizes that Zelda still has to. She's not a super. She's a super precise character when you're fighting a small animal like Pikachu. Uh, you want, like, sweeping hitboxes. You want things that are very active. Because chances are he's going to try to cross you up, like, a lot. And ultimately, like, the flow of the match is in Pikachu's court. Mm hmm. Uh, is this the best of five or is it the best of three? It is correct. Ready? Yeah, I mean, I feel like um, I, I didn't get to see too much, so I don't really know what kind of adjustments Salido could be making. Um, but I did see, like, some hasty defensive options. Uh, maybe some, like, really early 90s loves, like, and, like, we saw him, for example, like, lose it to a dash attack a little bit early. Maybe he could just be, like, a little bit more patient uh, before pressing a button. That being said, Battlefield, you know, much, much bigger stage than uh, than Smashville. Uh, gonna be living a little bit longer off the top as well. Yeah. I just really love the fact that, uh, that Mouse Rat's like, okay, I'm just gonna give you your space so you can do your night, and then I'm gonna come in and fight you after it's done. Because I'm not really looking to deal with that right now. That's too much stress for me. It's all cool. <laughs> Mouse Rat's just, he's doing everything he can to just get it outside though. He's just not being able to punish any of these uppies at all. The Quick Attack's actually doing so much for the Mouse Rat. Like, what Zelda excels at, right, is like ledge trapping, the corner pressure, and, and if Mouse Rat's not in the corner, how could Zelda do that? Yeah. He doesn't really need to play that game if he doesn't want to. He doesn't have to be, uh... He has multiple routes back onto the stage. And it makes it a lot easier for him to get on. Mm -hmm. Especially if Phantom isn't covering the opposite side of the stage. There is no reason for him not to go under the platform, um, you know, at all, right? It's basically yeah. a free way to get back on. I really love that way from Mouse, right? He's like, yeah, she's gonna do, uh, gonna do neutral B, try to reflect it back, thunder, if I go for the follow up. Somebody's mm -hmm. gonna wait a little bit to get like a tiny punch. Yeah, that was so good. You know, he covered the ground with his siege ults, was able to cover the jump appropriately, and neutral get up and right into the F smash. Yeah, that's about like one of the only like kill options on the ledge. Mouse got really like fishes for it. And and you know, if you're not ready for it, um, yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be eating a lot of those. Yeah, because your F smash is super active, all things considered. You know, it's ridiculously active. It's so disjointed too. It's long. Yep. Pikachu's long, he just leans into it. Yeah, no, you're, de you're definitely right. The pull back on it is, uh, it's not a sludge. Mm, I've noticed, like, a lot of whiff pivot grabs from Saludo. I feel like maybe he's trying to lead a dash in, but a lot I don't know, he's just giving, like, Mouse Rat more time to take control of center stage. Uh, he hasn't really been able to connect it, however, able to, you know, uh, steal the stock really, really nicely with the up B. Mouse Rat was not positioned at all to, to be yeah. able to shield it. That was not the first, uh, up B kill that just kind of happened mm -hmm. for Sourdough. And I'm not sure if that's like if it was intentional or just Mouse Rat overextending and ended up causing it to happen. But you know what? Don't look gift horse in the mouth. Mm. Like, good patience. Very nice. Yeah, good patience for Mouse Rat. Like he just, you know, he put up a shield just in time that he might have been able to get a parry punish. Um, but yeah, definitely like a huge overcommitment on Sourdough's part of it. He's not able to get the T-Jolt into dash attack, but only able to get a little bit more chip damage. What could Salado do to come back from this? I feel like Mouse Scratch just like so confident in his play right now. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. Fair just Last kill it 120. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> unless Jesus. Unless... Yeah. Not even not even Jesus can help you uh, and save you from, from Pikachu's foil. <laughs> Pikachu's foil is the Antichrist, after all. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like, like, look at this, right? Saudo is not able to get any corner pressure off on, on Mouse Rat at all. He's always going up. He's always mixing it. What? That was a little bit... That was, that was nice. I like that. This is clever. Yes, yeah, Zelda has an extremely large grab, and she has several kill throws, but unfortunately for her, the grab is super duper slow. So if she tries to use it, she has to be sure she can get it. Or else she's going to potentially eat a lot of really big punches. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be the dash attack kind of shield. Really, really nice. Um, and, you know, this is like the most even the, the entire set has looked so far. Unless game one was really, really close as well. 
However, you can't overcommit to Phantom like that when you're in Pikachu's burst range like that. He's just able to quick attack right onto you. This is looking really tough for Sarudo right now. Tries to get the Gimp. Ooh. Ah, he got it. Yeah. That was kind of a... That's kind of a lame way for that to end. Such an anticlimactic ending because it was it was so like neck to neck and it was so close. And then, and then, did Sarudo lose his jump? And then he still thought that he had a jump. Yeah, he didn't react quickly enough. Hi, <sighs> unfortunate. It's always unfortunate when that happens. There's a, like the two times Sarado Sarado was actually on stream twice, and both times he was on stream lost. Like, not in a super. I don't feel like either of them was like super bad, mm -hmm. except for like the first match he had with Beast, where Beast kind of like ran, just kind of destroyed him. Uh, but like they went Cloud, and now it's actually fairly close, all things considered. Mm -hmm. Um, I. I don't know, I want to see more Sourdough because I feel like he actually has like a lot of really good gameplay. He tends to play well when he has advantage, but sometimes uh, people just don't give it to him. Like you can't uh, can't rely on your opponent to give it uh, to give you those clips, you kinda gotta work for it. I don't know. I just I just know he's done like good work before, so I need to see more of him around and see him play more. Mm -hmm. Alright, so next up we're gonna have Pink Cage versus Nelshrad. Uh, that being said, I just... I